Bible says, he that will have friends must first show himself friendly. You are squeezing your face. Nobody is calling me. But this is how your face is. Friday night, you are at home. Monday, you are at home. Tuesday, you are at home. Instead of you to be smiling, be shining your teeth anywhere you are. When your friends are hanging out, say, I'm coming. When your colleagues are going to work, say, maybe that's where my husband will be. Let me dress up and join them. Show yourself friendly. And then you will have friends. All of you will be carrying natural hair about. Who, who natural hair help? Okay. You better, you better wear your wig. I'm doing like this. I'm be flipping it. Go and spend that money on hair. Spend, draw your brows. Buy lip gloss. Look good. Natural hair is not selling market. When you marry, you off your wig. Hey, because you have entered. There's nothing they can do about it. But before you enter, don't be caught on fresh. Never. Package yourself well. I'm so spiritual. The guy will run. Where are you? Prayer meeting. Where are you going after work? Prayer meeting. Okay, what about this Friday? Prayer meeting. Oh, me, I'm, I'm a Catherine Coleman kind of woman. You know, I'm wearing the mantle of Catherine Coleman. You will wear that mantle and be single. There is a time for everything. What happened to your midnight? How can't you pray there? In the evening, when he wants to take you, I say, I'm available. I'm available. What are you doing? Nothing. I've, all the prayer meetings I've attended this year is okay. It's okay. Call Sister Ivan. Tell her, excuse me. You know, we are single. You know, you, you are your husband's house. My Friday night, one guy wants to take me out. Please allow me today. Let's see if this is the one. Truly and truly, these are the issues. This is why sometimes men will not leave church to go and bring one Jezebel. Because all the sisters are unavailable. Always busy. In prayer meeting. In fasting. In prayer. You are always there. Every meeting you are there. Bishop so 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 in town you are there. Bishop this is in town you are there. I know you've watched the video that I played earlier on. And it's very fantastic. I respect everything the woman said. The female preacher said. Everything she said is her own opinion and her own mindset about if you're a lady and you're single, things you have to do so that you can be attracted to the brothers in church. So no brother can go outside to go and bring Jezebel into the, the church. I respect that. I'm also here to share my opinion. And this opinion that I'm going to share is something that is very knowledgeable and is principle. Because in this world that we live in, you have to let principle guide you. If you don't live by principles, you may live anyhow that you may think is good. But you may see that this life you are living is not all that interesting. But if you ask a black man or our colleagues that, how are you making money? Is it now God? Now, we have so many principles in this world if you really want to do anything. So I'm going to give you principles. If you are a lady, pay very good attentively to what I'm about to say because it's going to really help you. And the woman, has also said based on their what experience or based on what she thinks but this is a principle that i'm going to give you the first thing if you are a lady and you really need a guy to be in your life all you have to do is just to have a good character character is very important in relationship if you don't have a good character my sister is not going to help you make sure that you are very respectful and very humble because guys of these days need men now who are very respectful and women who are very humble they hate women who talk one talk two talk three women who don't listen to things women who think they are alpha women all they have to do is just to pour out their opinions and all those things not listening to what the guy is saying men are egoistic oriented beings if you intrude into a man's ego the man is going to disrespect you for life so if you're a lady and you really need a guy in your life so that it can end up into marriage all you have to do is just to have a very good character humble yourself and be submissive to the guy so that the guy can see that potential so that you can get a ring on your finger the second one is companionship you have to be friends in a relationship maybe if you are dating let's take it that you just have sex for one hour for illustration sake and that one hour is due 
that 23 hours, what are you going to do with your partner? You have to be friends. Be sharing ideas together. Be talking about trending news, politics. Be talking about petty petty things. People have to be distant. So that after the sex, you can what? You can sit down and have fun and talk. So especially if the guy is interested in football. If you're a lady, because you really want to be with a man, the man should be very happy around you. Learn the football matches, maybe learn maybe corner kick, free kick and all those things so that the man will be interested. That's why a lot of men, when English Premier League or all the leagues are playing, the man will just leave the house and leave you because the man has seen that you are not interested in what he wants. All you want is turning the levels and Nigeria movies and all those things. I'm not saying it's bad, but you have to build an interest of the man so that the man will want to be with you at home and enjoy the football matches with you so that the man cannot go outside. The last one that I really want to talk about is religion. Religion is very sensitive. It's a very sensitive thing. If you're a Christian, please marry someone who is a Christian. Don't go and marry someone who is a Muslim because it's going to contemplate with your rot, the religion, conflict and beliefs. It only takes mature people who know what they want and they are just doing marriage. But marriage too is for God. Marriage is also for duty. And marriage is also for support. So you have to marry someone who are, you are sharing the same faith with. If you're a Muslim also, please marry someone who is a, a Muslim. If you're a traditionalist, marry someone who is a traditionalist, a Buddhism, a Kenati, all those people. Because religion has come to stay. Religion has had a very big influence in man's life. Whether we like it or not, religion will be with us to the end of the world. So make sure that if you are making choices, you make a very good choice. But if you know you are cool, your guy is cool, or maybe your boyfriend is cool, you're a Muslim, he's a, a Christian, and you people think you can make this marriage work. Marriage is full of work. Marriage is not a luxury thing. Marriage is not like, I'm from where, cook, let me sleep, let's have sex, no. Marriage entails in a lot of things. So if you people don't have the same interest together, and you are just living anyhow, this one is doing this, maybe it's a time, maybe you're a Muslim and you have to go and pray five times, the guy will say, oh, maybe prepare food for me or something. The guy, maybe the guy is not having the patience to wait for you. Conflict will happen. But if you are all Christians and if you are all Muslims, you know that this time we are all going to pray. Christians, so this time we are all going to church so that everything will go on for you. The female preacher said it's cool, but life is beyond that. Life is not about lip gloss. Life is not about eyebrow and all those things. Men are not interested in all those things again. After, after the man being attracted to you by what you've done, what are you going to let a man see? Man need people who are very focused, who are very who, who can bring ideas up. Those are the things men look up to. So don't just be following the flashy things, your hair and all those things. Those things are nice. You can do it, but make sure you work on your character. Make sure that the guy will be your friend, and make sure that if you're a Christian or a Muslim, a religion sensitive thing, you make it what a hope. That's my opinion that I want to share with you. God will you bless you and make sure that everything that you do, you do it with good hearts and good mind. Flambo be my name. Bye.